Hello everyone, let's start with chapter number 3 that is synthetic fibers and plastic. So in this video I would be covering some important MCQs related to chapter 3. So let's start with question number 1. So it says pick the synthetic fiber out of the following. So we know that cotton is natural, jute is natural, wool is natural. So the leftover is nylon. Nylon we know is obtained from chemical substances. So, the right option is nylon that is synthetic fiber. Which of the following is a source of rayon? Rayon is actually produced from natural cellulose like wood pulp. So, it is, the source of rayon is wood pulp. Now, the third part says polycot is obtained by mixing nylon and wool, polyester and wool, nylon and cotton. Polyester and cotton. So, polycot is actually a mixture of polyester and it is a mixture of cotton, not with wool, but it is polyester plus cotton. It is a mixture of polyester and cotton. So, right option is D. Which of the which is a thermosetting plastic? So, we know that thermosetting plastic has the ability to resist fire and tolerate heat for which it is extensively used to make tiles, kitchenware and fabrics. So therefore out of these four, four we have melamine as thermosetting plastic. Now the next one, material similar to silk in appearance is, so it is rayon, rayon is actually very similar to silk. Sixth part says the most suitable material for the preparation of handles of cooking utensils is Polythene, PVC, Nylon, Bakelite. So we know that Bakelite is actually very poor conductor of heat and electricity. Therefore, it is used to make switches, handles of cooking utensils and many other things. Now moving on to question number 7. It says which of the following is not a common property of plastic. So plastic we know are poor conductor of electricity. So the right option out of this is D that, is, that says it is a good conductor of electricity which is wrong. It is poor conductor of electricity. Now question number 8 says which of the following represent the correct match for items in column A with those in column B. So we have column A nylon. Nylon matches with third that is fiber. Now we have PVC. PVC matches with thermo thermoplastic, so PVC matches with first and then we have third part that is bakelite, bakelite is thermosetting plastic, so first with third, first with third in B, then second with first and then third with second, so right option is B. Question number 9 says which of the following groups contain all synthetic substances. So out of these four options we have PVC, we have polythene, we have bakelite. These three are all synthetic substances. So right option is C here. Now moving on to question number 10. It says the material which is commonly used for making kitchen containers is PVC, acrylic, teflon, PET. So PET is very familiar form of polyester. So it is actually used in making kitchen containers and a range of bottles we have, containers we have. Why? Because it is actually transparent, strong, safe and versatile. So therefore we have PET which is used commonly in making kitchen containers. So these are the 10 questions we discussed about for chapter number 3. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel.